When I was 16, I had a Ford Focus. When I was 19, I had a 09 Dodge Charger. When I was 22, I got a Camaro. 23, I got my Jaguar F-Type, you know, very famous and known for that one. I'm now 26 and making one of the best purchases of my entire life. I had to tell you guys, like, it's a ladder, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to grind, you have to strive for each and everything that you want. I grinded for this, you ready? Bro, are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready, man. It's about to be ready. Wow. to Lamborghini Orlando for helping making this happen. This is it right here? This is it? I think this is it. This is the one? So, I had a lot of different options, you know what I'm saying, when it came to what specific car, and I saw this one, and I fell in love, and I just had to make it happen. If it wasn't for these guys right here, this wouldn't be possible. Yeah, I'm ready, man. You ready? <laughs> Turn around, stay turned around, turn around, turn around. My last car was a Jag, man. My last car was a Jag. The other? Oh my god. You up in it? Look what that's saying. Look what that's saying. So, baby. Wow. Oh my god. Fredo, welcome to your brand new. 2020 Lamborghini Huracan Evo. First of all, the, the Huracan itself is the latest in a generation of V10 supercars from Lamborghini, starting back with the Gallardo. Your car right here represents all the most advanced technology, everything that Lamborghini's learned over the years from building V10 supercars. Jeez. It's got everything in it. It's got the engine from the Performante, which is Lamborghini's, um, basically their track car, okay? So what you have here is a Performante for the street. So this is it. It's got the most powerful engine they've ever made for a V10, 640 metric horsepower. Whoa. You ever drifted? I might, I might today, man. <laughs> I'm not joking. The car's got a built-in drift mode. <laughs> built-in drift mode. Hey, 100K lights for a drift video. 100K lights for a drift but, video. Yeah, why don't you hop in? Check it out. <laughs> Come here, I need my dog with me. I need you with me. Got the Bianca Monoceros is the Italian name for, for this white color. Um, you got the orange accent, uh, stitching, uh, leather, leather bound uh, mats, wow. all the leather stitching. You got the, the embroidered Lamborghini uh, on the headrest. It has all the most advanced technology for uh, infotainment in the car now. That's so this awesome. is everything Lamborghini's learned over the years of making cars put into one car. This is honestly amazing. Like the quality, the luxury wow i'm honestly lost for words like like for real this is amazing it's this a big is, achievement man this is a huge achievement i'm i'm thankful you know all glory to god wow gotta seal it with a kiss man Shit. hey i got my brother by my side because he next man i can't wait to see him and back to back things so just a little motivation for him <laughs> thing about a Lambo, I don't, no. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but when you get a brand new Lambo, my man, you get the matching model. No! <laughs> that is your car right there. Oh my god. Bro, it's literally identical. I'm, I'm literally gonna sleep with this. Like, <laughs> I'm going to sleep with this, my new teddy bear. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I want to make sure you got you a white cat to match the white car. Oh! <laughs> Lamborghini hat there. Uh, I got you, Isaiah. You know how to do that. <laughs> he trying to get me. That was 40, man. Damn, this is nice. Thank you so much. I promise you. I promise you on everything. I love you, Nick. I'm proud of you, man. Let's keep grinding. Let's go. All right. Let's keep grinding. Like, this shit don't even feel real. I feel like tomorrow, I'm going to wake up and... Right the reality is gonna hit when I when I go to the garage, but for right now this shit don't feel real. But you know I'm not done. I'm not satisfied until all my brothers in the same thing as me too. So he next, and everybody in SSH they next too. I'm not satisfied until everybody got one. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's take over the world. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That chopper dumper. Oh, 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 oh
How you feeling? Whoa. Wow. Yes! I'm a fashion killer. I'm a fashion killer. Yeah. I'm gonna stay by the diving. But I got any diamonds. I'm smoking his Gotta be from the alley. Yeah. But I put I grew up in these streets right here. This is the exact street <laughs> that I grew up in. Um, my house that I lived at is right there. I'm just gonna respect, you know, there's some different people living there, so I'm gonna respect their privacy. It's just crazy just to come back and... Just think about how far I've come. You know, life is what you make of it. If you want to be poor, you want to be in poverty, you want to have a closed mindset, that's the mindset you'll have forever. My life was built for nothing but failure. My mom was a drug addict. My father was an illegal immigrant from Costa Rica. I was in foster care by the age of three months old. Growing up, never really feeling loved, never really feeling like I had a home. And instead of just accepting life for what it was. I told myself I wanted to be better. I told myself I wanted to do better. I got myself out of that closed mindset, that box that people live in, that comfortability. People get comfortable. They get comfortable with the simple things in life. End of the day, it's up to you to decide what you're gonna do with the life that is built for you. Are you gonna lay down? Are you gonna fold? Are you gonna let this life bring you down, consume you, and keep you in this box forever? That's not how I looked at my life. I never dwelled, I never cried, and I never folded. I always stayed 10 toes down, and I knew that one day, I would come back to this motherfucking place and I would prove to be the man that I always wanted to be. And I can sit here today and say that I fucking made it. I fucking made it, bro. I made it out of this shit. The countless nights of being hungry, the countless nights of not feeling loved, the countless nights of not having a mom, not having a dad, the shit hurt. But instead of fucking crying and folding, I strive. Thank God for the second opportunity that I got at life. Thank you to my adoptive parents for making this all possible because without them, I wouldn't have had this second chance at life. Now this it's my turn to create a generational wealth where we don't have to live like this, where we don't have to think about when our next meal is gonna come. We don't have to think about, am I loved? I love my daughter every fucking day because I know what it felt like to not be loved. I love you, Ava, and for the rest of my life, I will make sure you don't ever have to see the days that I saw in my life. You can come from anywhere. Look at this fucking street, boarded up windows. You can come from fucking anywhere and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Stop letting people stop you from striving. All I've ever heard when I've grown up is what I can't do. But I fucking did it. And I proved the motherfuckers wrong, bro. More importantly, what it feels better now is that I'm not creating this wealth. I'm not creating all of this for nothing. I will continuously try to change and shape the world to the best ability that I can so that I can see less people living like this and more people with the dream that one day they can come back to where they grew up and be just like this. It is very possible and I thank the Lord. <laughs> I wanna scream that I'm fucking here. I'm fucking here. I'm here, nigga. I'm here. I thank God every single day because without God's glory, this is impossible. Trust me, right now, I really want to break down in tears and, and cry. Like, look at look at my Lambo. This shit don't even look like it belong here, bro. I, I don't even look like I belong here no more. But this is where I grew up. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? Where you from, bro? Bell Glade. Yeah. What grade you doing? Tip. Tip grade? Yeah. What happened? Y'all know what to say? Nah. Why is that? Low key nervous. You nervous? Why are you nervous, bro? First time meeting you, it's cool. Right. First time meeting a YouTuber. Hold on, let me, let me show you something. Man. You know how I used to live in these streets, right, man? Yeah. I used to live right down the road, bro. I got something for you, dog. Some Gucci, man. Thank you. You ever had a pair of Gucci? Nah. Never had a pair of Gucci? Mm -mm. Oh, you got them bitches? <laughs> nah. <laughs> you got them bitches? Nah! Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. You got them bitches now. How that feel? Amazing, man. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I really, really appreciate it. You appreciate that? Yeah. Smile, man. Don't be afraid to smile. <laughs>
Are we double up, man? Let's keep double up, man. Uh, you know how these is, man. Yep. You want them, bitch? Yes. All right, beat me in the race right now. You got to beat me in the race. Beat me in the race, you get these. Two, one, go. I got land bus speed. Now I'm gonna still show you live, bro. I will buzz my. <laughs> you got smoke, but still got the shit. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thanks. All up. Thank y'all, boys. Y'all boys, stay up, all right? All right, for sure. I'm just run up the block. I'm just run up the block. Show the shield on my spine. How did she love me a lot? My shooters gon' hop on the line. I fuck on that bitch, do my dance. I might just go super sad. Last but not least, I want to thank every single subscriber that has given me their loyalty and support over the past four years. You guys mean absolutely everything to me. You guys are the reason why I wake up every day and continue to strive because I know I have millions of people that watch my content to escape from the real world and get a different perspective at life with positivity, full of great energy, and just a lot of love. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to enjoy my beautiful Lamborghini on this rainy day. And I just want to say I said Day. We all talk forever. With that being said, my dude, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna have to do my dad. I'm gonna be gushing for sad. And you're gonna love my friend. I'm trying to get to this bag. That 40 yummy made me sad. Yo, bitch, up my dick in the lamb. Damn, I'm out. <laughs> oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys 150k likes, we'll get a race.